I've now removed the crank handle because this thing's going to be running at speed. Right, safety goggles in case something comes flying off. I've used some contact adhesive to stick the magnet on, it's, uh, it's under there. Okay, so 10.26 per minute. So if my maths is correct, that's only about 17 frames a second, so we're not much more than halfway where we need to get to. I'm going to check on that. It did sound like it was going faster. Let's assume that's correct and we have to go at uh, twice that speed, basically. So, uh, this pulley needs to be half the circumference. So first we need to know what's the circumference of this, so I'll take the belt off and we'll measure, we'll put a piece of string around it and measure the circumference of the inner groove. And I've just done that. Here's the piece of string, measure that up. While I'm figuring out what to do about the speed situation, here's the arrangement for the colour shutter, which will be on here. Going red, green, red, green on alternate frames. So two turns of this will turn one turn of that. And um, I'll just hand crank it and see that that's working. Now I've got to chop this off amount here, just as long as it needs to be to uh, fit the colour shutter on. Now the other thing is I've messed up because I had to drill out this hole. It was a I think a six millimetre hole in this aluminium pulley and I had to drill it out to three eighths or whatever and um, and there was a problem with the chuck on my drill stand so I messed up and it's quite wobbly. But no problem I've got another one and I'll get that done properly, but in the meantime it will be fine just till we get going properly so it's very basic everything I do here is bricolage rather than engineering but um, obviously I've got to get this bearing more sensible at the moment it's just a hole in the wood uh, but I think we need to get get the length of this organised first. This pulley wheel here actually isn't being used as a pulley, it's a bearing, a metal bearing centre on the nylon pulley and that will be screwed to the wood. So in fact the bearing for this rod will be a proper bearing and the wood will just be a hole for the rod to go through. And then there's a retainer at the other side, <clears throat> and um, the colour shutter or disc, if you prefer, will be fitted. I'm just using this as a centre. I'm not using it as a uh, a belted pulley. I'm just using it as a centre piece for the colour wheel. So that will be drilled out to six mil, and then that will go there with the colour wheel fitted to the front. It'll be a cardboard wheel, similar to the main shutter that I've made. And uh, hopefully we'll be there quite soon. In the meantime I'm about to take off this pulley because we need a smaller one and check out the diameter of the shaft. So 
So that's the diameter that we need to measure now. As I took that off, uh, this fell out from somewhere. Let's check what that's all about. Okay, that will be good enough. And I'm pretty sure that's a quarter of an inch, which would make sense. The shaft won't be a metric, it's an English machine. The shaft cut easy enough with a hacksaw. I think that's long enough for the colour wheel to be slid on there. The main shutter is about 7 inches in diameter and I'm going to make the colour wheel the same because I worked out that that will give enough clearance about 3.5 inches radius and um, I think that should be fine. I'll make it from cardboard. Uh, it's very similar in shape actually. I'll probably make these a bit smaller because it's not critical with the colour wheel, it's better to have more colour sections. So it will look just like that, but there'll be a red filter here and a green filter there. 